whiskey enthusiasts. It's Brett and I have something for you today that I've really been wanting to try for a very long time and it's not normally available in my area. I was gifted some Old Fitzgerald bottled in bond 100 proof and uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to be trying this finally. Uh, I like a lot of different kinds of whiskey those of you who have followed me or that know me from our Facebook page at WBSE know that I drink more scotch than I do bourbon, but I do enjoy bourbon and rye for that matter. And my favorite among the bourbons is often Weeders. And so I'm very excited to be able to try this and uh, because it's one of the kind of grandfather figures in weeded bourbons, so to speak. And it's totally unavailable in my part of the country, but I was lucky enough to uh, be gifted some. Let's see what it's like. Ah, uh, the nose is not complex, but it's very satisfying. There's just a lot of brown sugar in the nose. It's a very sweet nose. Underneath the brown sugar, there's a very subtle nutmeg and cinnamon spice. It's just really soft and blended really well. Uh, it reminds you of walking into a kitchen when someone is uh, baking. Would, seriously? My cat is fighting with something here, playing. Actually, I think it's a uh, one of the little pull tabs off of a Blanton's bottle. She found it and she's playing with it now. So, oh yeah, the, just the sugar and cinnamon mix is just so welcoming. If you go after it long enough, you'll start getting a little bit of vanilla and some, some toffee. The butter really starts sticking out once you get past everything else. One second. Leave that stuff alone. Go. I'm busy. I can't believe a nine-year-old cat decided to play like a kitten just when I'm doing a video. Yeah, you start getting that toffee a lot of buttery feel to it. This is nice. Um, you can definitely tell it's a weeder. A lot of butter, a lot of sugar, and gentle, subtle spices. You get just a hint of some cherry that comes out in the middle of the palate, and that's really nice. And it's a sweet cherry. It's not a bitter or tart cherry. It's a sweet cherry that blends really good with the sugar you've already had. I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you that this is the best whiskey in the world or anything like that, or that, oh my God, I'm so glad after all this time I got to taste it. It's not earth shattering. But this is a pleasant, pleasant, satisfying weeded bourbon that I could drink all day. Um, I like a nice spicy bourbon sometimes, but when I get those, that's not something I drink just repeatedly. And maybe that's because of my scotch background. I'm used to uh, a less spicy and more fruity uh, flavor profile. But if you get the chance to try this, absolutely try it. If you're a fan of weeders in general, 
don't pass the chance to get this. I guarantee if you're a fan of Weeders, you'll like this whiskey. Um, let's try, let's get a little bit on the finish. You carry over that gentle cinnamon and nutmeg, and it's not until the finish that you really start to get some oak. The char starts showing itself then. The butteriness still carries through into the finish though. That buttery note just is constant throughout the entire dram. Um, it's not exactly like anything else I've ever had. Um, if I recall uh, my mash bills correctly, I think this is the same, comes from the same mash bill as Larceny. Um, this is so much more developed than Larceny, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I can understand where they're coming from, but, but Larceny must either be, oh, it's not a bad whiskey. Um, it seems to be lacking something. And if, if this is the same set of barrels that Larceny's made from, then either these must be the cream of the crop picked barrels or it must be a lot older because there's just not very much of a comparison between the quality of the two. So anyway, back to my what I was saying. If you like weeders, don't pass up a chance to try this. It's good stuff. Honestly, I don't think it's very expensive, but I don't actually know the price of it because they don't sell it around here. And I've never had the opportunity. I can tell you, I'll promise you this, the first time I ever see any of it on the shelf, it's going home with me because it's something that I need to have sitting there waiting for when my mood hits me and I want it. Hope that helps you. Go out there and enjoy some whiskey.